Well, I was a little, once was a little boy when my mom and dad died. I got no one to take care of me. Sure, I came, pooping in handcuffs, and sitting in the car today. Son, you ain't got no one to take care of you. As of right now, I'm taking y'all to Apple Creek, all right? That's a nice place, your tree. I picture in the tree and the clothes creek in the backyard. Back in the 2000s, Students with a diagnosis of autism began appearing at Miller South School for the Visual and Performing Arts where I was teaching drama and I had no idea what to do. So I went to the intervention specialist there. Her name is Laura Valenza. She also is a theater practitioner. Well, CAVE started when Wendy Duke and I got together and was asked by Melanie Pepe at Weathervane to teach a class to students on the autism spectrum using drama as a way to work on social skills. We immediately began concocting ideas to help these individuals and we noticed that more and more of them were attracted to the drama program. So there must be something about drama that helps people on the spectrum. So we began there, and then we decided that we wanted to reach out on our own. We decided to start teaching a class at Weathervane on Saturdays. It was very popular. And it was through our experience at Weathervane that we became very excited about the prospect of using drama with students on the spectrum. I've been working with uh, Kata since, I want to say, July or August of last year. It's basically when they started the Theater on the Spectrum program. I originally wanted to go to school for special education, uh, but then I ended up flipping to theater with an education minor, and then I ended up dropping the education because I just didn't feel confident in it. So this is kind of like the perfect job. My voice, like, she was a ghost, a far-off whisper of whoever she used to be years ago. So, I left, I left, and I never came back until Well, theater is a way, one, to have fun and engage people through improvisation. And improvisation is doing things on the spur of the moment. And what that does is it allows people to experience um, and work on their social skills in a safe environment. Theater in general is just a really good tool for anyone, in my personal opinion. Uh, you learn a lot about how other people work and how people outside of yourself function, what kind of baggage they come in with, and it makes it gives you a lot of empathy for other people, which I think is important in general and especially important um, to individuals with autism who that doesn't come as naturally for, usually. So it gives them a chance to, um, I guess, understand what's happening with other people in a safer way. They can explore all of these different people and environments that are um, protected and encouraged. Because now is a big change in the world of disability. People are no longer being sheltered away from the world. The push is to get people out working and mingling and communicating and being with people of all abilities. We, uh, I, I know that you were crying in your sleep. All the finger points, I want to get out of bed. That was when I was crying, but now I'm ready to eat today. I really enjoy getting to work with our people. Uh, we have some really, really great clients. They're always ready to work. They're always uh, super enthusiastic to do what needs to be done. They have great energy. And you just like see all of this crazy progress that they come through with when um, they get something right. And they're really happy about it and really excited. And they, they just uh, can't stop. Uh, being excited and it, it's so fun to be around people who just really love what they're doing. Uh, it's infectious. It kind of makes your whole day a little bit better. My favorite part about being at Cato is being around the people and being around Wendy and Jocelyn and just learning all the good things I can learn. You know, because 
You never know what you can learn until you get out there and see what's out there. So I found Kata and they're teaching me a lot of good things. So it's helped me a lot. When Laura and I began this process such a long time ago, I had in mind that one day we would need to develop and create a theater company so that the young people who were coming to our classes would have an outlet. And I began to imagine what that theater company would be. It would be for adults of all abilities. It would be a place where they could practice and learn theater and performance techniques. And maybe eventually find work outside of our space, but they could get the training here and practice here and grow and develop as human beings. Now I had no idea way back then how on earth that was going to happen, but here we are. It has happened. This is one place that I never thought would, would come, come together because I never thought they, because when I was growing up they never had a place like this, you know. They always told me I wouldn't make nothing out of myself. I had a teacher that told me I would never make anything out of myself. I sit at home with my, my dad and my mom, and, and I just want people to live their dream, and that's what I'm trying to do, you know. We are small, uh, but that just means that we can give more one-on-one -on -one time. And we are a family, which means that we pay attention to your good days and your bad days. Um, and that, you know, we're here to support whoever needs to be supported. Whether or not you come in every Saturday for a class or you're in our day program or you just come to a show, like, let us know and we, we can help you out. We don't try to fix people because I don't think that people on the spectrum need to be fixed. I think that they just need an opportunity to express themselves and be accepted. And that's what we do here. Peace, love, and soul, man.